So welcome back to another episode and welcome to our review of Shin Megami Tensei 5. A game that's been long in development. We've been looking forward to. Oh yes. We've been playing. <laughs> we absolutely have a lot to say mm -hmm. about this title. And we did a nice warm up by playing Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, uh, the remaster from the PS2 version. And that was a good warm up to get to this game yeah. and all that. So we've been playing this like crazy. And for anybody who doesn't know, the Shin Megami Tensei series has been a long standing series in Japan. There's been a lot of spin offs, there's been a lot of side things mm -hmm. and we're finally here Yay. on the Nintendo Switch and right now this is an exclusive game for this machine and let's start off with the story uh, of this game and by the way there is no spoilers in this review yes. at all we're not even going to show boss encounters or anything no. like that or any of our, the later demons or anything like that because that is experience in finding it that's th yeah exactly that's where the fun of the game is and mm -hmm. um, we start off in tokyo yeah we start off in tokyo where your main character heads off to school yeah. and once you've done all it actually reminds me of Persona. A little bit, like, yeah. As soon as we jumped in, I'm like, oh, wow, we're in a school setting. I yes. remember doing stuff like this. But once you leave the school, you hear a commotion, you go underneath the tunnel, and that's when everything changes. Everything oh, goes to heck, goodness. yeah. Yes. Everything goes crazy, and you end up in the netherworld, netherworld a yes. post-apocalyptic version of Tokyo, and that's a theme of this series. Always. <laughs> and yeah, and then you get there, and all of a sudden, you're getting attacked by some monsters, mm -hmm. and this mysterious man comes in and combines, combines with you. Combines with you, yeah. yeah. in a completely Sailor Moon-esque oh uh, type of transformation. I loved it. It's really a lot of fun. All of a sudden, you have blue hair. Long blue hair. You have silver awesome armor. Awesome armor. Yeah. yeah. And you have this blade that comes out of your arm. So wicked. The basis of the story is that it's just it's heaven and hell, and they've been fighting it out for a long time, for a super long time, and then it's basically heaven itself trying to reclaim what was theirs to begin with. So in Tokyo, the world map is like past games, you know, yeah. the, the game of life. As it you will look. always remind me of the game of life. The little pegs going yeah. around, it yeah. really does. It is. But the the interesting thing is when you get into the demon world, the mm -hmm. nether world. Yes. Then you're running around, and it's open world. It it's is an, an open world, yeah. And that's kind of that's kind of the cool thing here. And overwhelming. And to overwhelming, be yeah. And there's a lot of reasons why. But you get a Navi style character who helps you. Who's always saying, "Hey, look at this over here. Hey, hey look at this." And she goes like this. <laughs> yeah, hey, right over here. Yeah, and uh, she shows you where certain items are. Yeah. But not just items sometimes. Sometimes you get into a fight, which also can really suck when yeah. you're not prepared for it. Yeah, so she's like giving you a saying, Here, here's some really good stuff, and whoa, here's and a then battle. She goes, uh oh. Yeah, uh oh. <laughs> and you kind of get into that. And you also, as you're running around, you're picking up little orbs green yes. and yellow and red, red orbs. Yep. And they give you your magic points back, they give you your hit points back, and uh, add to your boost gauge. Yeah, your special as well. abilities. For exactly. Sure. So in the game, you also get this jump button, which will help you explore other areas in the game leads you to different items even those big giant oh yes they, oh my god like a d20 it looks big, like a d20 it's a big yellow d20 which has treasure in it treasure like essence and everything help you but i just love how we have the speed button that you can run through yeah. but going down the hills it looks like you're surfing yes. with your hair flowing in the back. I just, that was such a unique idea to add to it. I really liked it. That's a, that's a cool <laughs> bit in the game for sure. So as you're running around the map, exploring the world, a lot of it is kind of hazed over with this pink. And the reason why is there's abscesses yeah. that are controlling your view of the map. And you have to guide yourself to these abscesses, kill all of the demons in that section and the abscess, and then the haze will go away and you can see the map for what it really is and all the other uh, places that you need to explore, yeah. and that's happening a lot. There's oh god, and when you have three of them going yeah. at once, you can barely see the map. There were times where I came up to the TV and was like, where, yeah. where yeah. am I? Yeah, <laughs> I know, we kept waiting for the haze to pass and to, to see kind of where you are yeah. on it, but that's part of it. It's part of opening up the map and seeing where you are. So the main focus of any SMT game is the combat, and how is the combat? The combat is great. Beautiful. It is, is the strongest thing in the game, mm -hmm. honestly. 
I love the layout. It's very, very simple to see all your characters, to see what order you're in, and to see the demons on the screen. The graphics oh. for the combat is the strongest thing in the game, and you don't see it right in the beginning. No. You, and, I, and I'm sorry that I can't show it because I, I don't want to spoil it, but you've got to see some boss encounters that come oh, later on. Wow. I, I'm going to state something that I am honestly surprised with some of the bosses and some of the characters that you fight that they were done on the Nintendo Switch because it's very, very impressive. Sometimes I was looking at the screen going, this is a Nintendo Switch? Like, wow! Really impressive. You can see that they spent a lot of time getting the graphics right, but it's also the animation. Oh, God, And yeah. some of these demons are so creepy and so surreal yes. and so strange. And what a sight to behold. The combat really blew me away. It's like one of my favorite combat engines of the year to visualize, to see. And I love being in combat, and I think it's really great. And the main meat and potatoes <laughs> is, because it's like, you know, a dark style of Pokemon game. It is. Now, Kim said that to me for Nocturne. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. You're recruiting demons. Yes. And that's the main, main focus. So by collecting all the demons, that leads you into the world of shadows where you start to fuse them together. Right. That's the whole point of SMT, really, I find. So. What I love about this is you get lower class demons to create the higher ones, and once you got the higher class demons, you get special demons. And by doing the special demons, unfortunately you have to collect multiple more <laughs> yes. demons, and it just gets so overwhelming because you want to get them all. You want to register them all, because then in future you can buy them back to make other ones. It's just a whole compilation of collecting Saving is just and it's, recreating. Yes, and you want them all. Yeah, <laughs> and that that is the main focus of the game, and that's where the addiction is. It is, and right. that's where the fun is. Like like if anybody's going in expecting a, a, a kind of a traditional RPG, mm -hmm. you're gonna get that. But it, the game is about combat, yes. fusing demons, making more demons, mm -hmm. getting the best demons, and that's where the fun is, oh, and it's yeah. so satisfying and very very addicting. So out in the netherworld, you're collecting these little guys. This is one of the most important things in the game to do. They're called Mimans. You gotta collect all of these because they give you what? They give you glory points, which you take into the world of shadows to help expand your miracles, such as skills and essences, anything to expand your team into making them better. And my goodness, these Mimans are hard to find. They, they do are. not make it easy for you. They don't make it easy for you, for sure, but getting them is so awesome and you can trade on all their points to get better items and to upgrade your characters, as Kim was saying. And on top of collecting the Mimans, you bring them back to the merchant, who is kind of like, it reminds me of collecting mini medallions from Dragon Quest. Yeah. And he gives you additional items, better items and essences while you're collecting these memes all over the world. So yes, very important to get these guys. Please don't ignore them. I highly recommend it'll make, going out of your way to get them. <laughs> it'll make your life a lot easier yeah. for sure. And most of their time in this game was spent looking for them going, hey, I swear there's one down there to get. And that's some of the trickery of the game. And one thing I want to say about the game as well is the music. The music is really, really good Beautiful. in this game. Especially the thing that you'll hear all the time, the combat music is absolutely my favorite combat music of the last two years. And me and Kim were talking about one of the reasons why we like it. It's fascinating because in most uh, RPGs, when you're running around a world map and you get into combat, it just kind of swirls and the music just starts automatically. Not in this game. You go up, you slice your sword at them, you initiate combat, and then there's a lull. It just holds. Yeah. And your characters are all standing there, and you're just kind of getting ready. And then you do your attack, and, and then, then the music, music starts. starts. And we were talking about how much we enjoy that aspect, and how much all of a sudden it like kicks the battle into super gear, and you're so pumped. And that battle music is so awesome. I really love it. So the music lives up to past SMT games really, really well. How is the voice acting? At the time of our review, there was no DLC for the Japanese voices, so we played with the English. And how is that? Very, very good. I, I loved it. Yeah, I thought all the voices were really, really 
fitting. The demon sounded absolutely terrifying Definitely. when they needed to do. I totally bought the voice acting, and I usually always pick the Japanese yeah. uh, going in, but this I'm happy with playing in English. I think it's really, really good. <laughs> Why, this is the place I call home. And so, yes, it's a very, very amazing game for SMT fans. I think a lot of people have been waiting for this game for a very, very long time. Does it live up to the hype? Are there any issues with it? There's a few. Slight. There's a few. We have Only to get into slight. this. Yeah. In some of the cinematics, there's a shimmery look to it at times. There's also a frame rate drop mm -hmm. at certain times, especially right in the beginning of the game. Yeah. In the cinemas, I was like, whoa, like... I was actually bothered by that. I was in, in some of the cinemas, I'm like, whoa, it doesn't affect the gameplay when you're running around the world map. That never seemed to be affected, no. for sure. I like that. But there's, there is also pop-up that does show up as well, as to be expected. I But overall, performance-wise, I think they've done a really good job with the Nintendo Switch Definitely. and what they were able to pull off. And yes, does it live up to the hype? I will say this, for SMT fans, it lives up to the hype, for sure. We've been waiting for a, the oh, next mainline yeah. game in the series for a very long time, uh, since the 3DS versions at least, <laughs> but on a console that you can play now, handheld, and on uh, a TV, which is so fantastic. It lives up to the hype, but you have to be an SMT fan. You I do, definitely do. I do believe, I mean, it's a strong learning curve for people just going in. And me and Kim knew what we were doing. And yes. we still had a bit of a hard time with this game. There's different <laughs> difficulty levels, for sure. But we were getting to certain bosses and getting destroyed and going, you we have to level up. We need to level you up. You have to level up. You can't just go in there yeah. without Without doing it, you have to level and you have up to the up grind. And you have to upgrade your demons. Oh gosh, yeah. And as soon as you do that, you go back, you'll win. Yeah. No problem. There was a couple of demons. <laughs> it was hard. I didn't want to let them go. Yeah, oh yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely there. For sure, but there's a couple of demons that we bought. Oh my gosh. And you're like, we're getting halfway and we're like, I don't think we can do this. And then all of a sudden different things uh, mm. happen in the game, mm -hmm. which we won't, we won't say and all of that. But uh, this is a very long game as well. 50 plus hours. I would even say a hundred plus hours to get all the demons and to do all the stuff. To Love it. And yes, to, <laughs> to find them all and do all the different combinations mm -hmm. will take you a very long time. And uh, this has uh, lived up to the hype for me being an SMT fan. Me too. I'm, yeah. Definitely. It, definitely. What would you give this game out of 10 if you could rate it? Right now, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Me and Kim were talking about this, yeah. and we must admit, when we first started playing the game, we're like, yes, yeah, it's an 8 out of 10, but the more you get Play into it, it yeah. yeah, the more you combine your demons, uh, the more uh, addictive it gets, the more fun you're having, and at the end, it realistically, the combat engine is really good, the world maps are really good, but that addiction of combining the demons really bumped it to a 9 for us, and we were like, I'm standing behind this, mm -hmm. for sure. And a lot of people come in and say, well, the graphics are not living up to other games and all that. I'm not judging it as that. I'm judging it as an SMT game into yes. itself and what it does. I believe it's one of the best SMT games that I've ever played. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. And uh, our lead up to playing Nocturne to this, it's like yeah. night and day. Mm -hmm. And Nocturne's a great game, but this, this is- This blows a, it out of the water. It is. It and, does. But you're gonna be in combat a lot and yeah. know that going in. Prepare for that. Prepare for that. <laughs> but that's where the fun of this game is. And we had a real blast playing this game and we're gonna continue mm -hmm. to get in there and do all the things that we can do by collecting all of the demons. So anyways, guys, until next time.